Once again, we've been asked to find the slope of a line. What is the slope of the line? And what they've given us here is a graph or a Cartesian coordinate plane. Sometimes we call it an XY plane. Um, and we can see here that the type of, whoa, what I just do, the type of line that I'm seeing on this graph is what's known as a vertical line. It goes straight up and down. It goes straight up and down the vertical line. So I gotta tell you the truth. The easiest way to know how to do this is just to memorize the slope of vertical lines because all vertical lines have the same slope. But um, I will prove to you why it's so. Let me just tell you that all vertical lines have what we call an undefined slope, an undefined slope. Now let me show you. Uh, why they have an undefined slope, meaning um, we can't even describe the slope with a number. We can't, just that's what I mean by undefined. We can describe it with a number. Here's why, though. Here's why. Remember, to find slope off of a graph, you do the rise over the run. So let's pick, like, any two points here. Let's say let's start with this point here, and let's go to uh, that point there. They're both on the line. Now, how much did I rise on this particular line? Well, I start er, from this point to that point. I started at zero and I rose up to four. And so my rise is four. But take a look at how much I ran. How much did I run? How much did I move left or right? Well, you can see I didn't move left or right at all. I actually ran zero. And so one thing that you have got to know for the GED period is that you cannot divide by zero here. Dividing by zero always creates something undefined. 4 over 0 is the same as 4 divided by 0. And it just can't happen. Whenever you have a 0 on the bottom of a fraction, that answer is undefined. And FYI, even though that's not really what we're talking about here, you have to know that for the first five problems of the GED, that when a fraction has a bottom size of 0 or a bottom of 0, denominator of 0, that the fraction value is undefined. That often pops up in the first five problems where you don't have a calculator. So it's just a good concept to understand. But anyway, I, I highly recommend that you just remember that when you have a vertical line, a straight up and down line, that its slope is undefined. And um, most mathematicians just remember that. They don't have to do the math. And so my little trick to remember that is, of course, if uh, when we're talking about slope, we're talking about a measure of steepness. Well, how steep is the hill? If it's a cliff, you know, imagine if you, if it's this steep, it's like you're falling off a cliff, right? If you were falling off a cliff, oh my gosh, your life would be totally undefined at that point. You're probably going to die. <laughs> so that's the joke that I remember with my students. Um, but um, stay tuned because vertical lines and horizontal lines are special lines whose slopes you should have memorized.